Hello everybody, my name is Beast Danny Man. Welcome back to you and me and her. Now, this is a love story. Don't get me wrong. It is a weird love story. If you're into weirdness, I'm your guy. I'm your guy for weirdness. I'm your guy for weird visual novels. Now, this game is also going to be talked about by Sidesnap, really good youtuber content creator i i really enjoy her videos but i also think this game has gained a little bit of utaku popularity i definitely hope so because i want to take some of that popularity for myself because as you all know i'm a starting youtuber so i need popularity so what be what better way to steal it from a good youtuber <laughs> I do know that sounds a bit like something I won't necessarily do, but let's jump in. Okay, well, what's Zappy? Uh, okay. That's good to know. It's it. Uh... You guys are screwing up here. N no. What gave you that idea? Almost. What the heck is almost? How does that work? Where do you draw the line? Does it not count if it's just the tip? Uh. Is it cool if you only get like halfway in? Ah, uh, that's so gross, dude. No, it's not cool. It, it's not? Well, dang, there goes my chances. <laughs> it's not? No! I can't believe I have to explain this. Beep beep. You have to trigger the event flag. Um. What? I think you'd be crazy. You, you need to raise your affection points or you'll fail. This isn't a video game. Got it. She raises her hand straight into the air, like an antenna searching for the radio waves. IO is a romance option. And this world is a video game. It's not a video game. There's a term for people like this. Gamer brain. Well, at least I also have a category. Because... I can't be called an otaku <laughs> because I don't live in Japan. <laughs> oh, that's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> I just called myself a weeaboo. <laughs> no, like, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm not sure what the original definition was, but these days, these days, we use it to mean someone who can't tell the difference between games and reality. Don't you just call it an imaginative person? Because sometimes I think to myself, what if a person gets struck by a car and stands up? Isn't that going to be like a video game simulation type of scenario? But... Your childhood friend with the long dark hair is the main heroine. Well, you called her heroine. Ayo, Ayo, roots, Ayo's roots will have to wait. Bye bye. What? Hey, wait. I have no idea as to what's going on. I'm as clueless as a bat in the night. But she ignores me and runs off down the stairs. Ha! That girl's always such an enigma. What do you mean always? More importantly, I need you to explain. Why the egg did Sansa storm off like that? And now you've got Mukao to boot. You punk. Are you a normie? Are you a GD normie? Well, no, my dear Uchaku, my fellow Uchaku friend. I'm not a normie. I'm Uchaku. 
Straight blood, straight to Taku. Love anime, waifu is too much to count. I have too many waifus. I wish they were real. The, do you, do you know her? What? Are you serious? That did. That was Mukio Ao. Season our class, dude. Oh, why didn't I realize? You and me and her. A love story. With a twisted, twisted fucking story. Mukio Ao. The name doesn't ring any bells whatsoever. Well, I've got a nice apartment. I can watch my episodes. I can play my games. I have manga, it looks like. You just wish I had the real thing. I got a better chair. My video game life sucks. I'm pretty socially awkward. This guy summarized me. I'm socially awkward. If you come and talk to me, I'll say, Here, have a banana. Take a bite of my banana. 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 <laughs> I'm awkward. Like, it's been almost six months. And I still don't know the names of all the girls in, in our class. Well, that's not something to be called socially awkward. It's normal, I guess. Every boy should be, like, sometimes scared to talk to girls. I don't know, maybe that's just my experience. But that great A space cadet. It's hard to believe I could forget someone as unique. A Zenith Aqua, if I might say, as her. Well, I have one of those clapping lights. Mine don't want to work, apparently. Ha! Huh. I crawl into bed like the sad sap I am. This is my future waifu. What, wanna? Wanna get happy? Back there, on the roof. Everything from her pose to her appearance, and everything she said, it was all identical to that scene from that from the mobile game. What? You talking about Raid Shadow Legends? Not sponsored though. <laughs> because that is a sponsorship for everyone. I'm not like taking a dump on Raid Shadow Legends, it's really a super fun game. Almost like she said, almost like she jumped right out of the screen, screen and into real life. And the protagonist's name was Suzuki Shinshi. Shinishi 2. No, it can't be. What? What is this? Is this a simulation? Are we all just in the simulation? Well, I don't know as to what is happening, but you can count on me to be dating all these girls because visual novel dating simulator. I'm as awkward as Frank. I don't have the power to turn video games into reality. Or do I? Well, if I can, can I please turn a hinty game into real life? With me as the protagonist. <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. Now, I'm the, I'm the one with gamer brain. I'll always have gamer brain. It's nothing to fear. Or with me, it's everything to fear. That visual novel was on Mikyu's phone. She probably has all the dialogue memorized. She was probably just acting it out. And she probably said the protagonist's name to mine on purpose. If you say it like that, it sounds kind of weird. It sounds like a stalker. Did you catch my trip? But, but why? 
Do I have a secret admirer? Check around every tree. Guys, guys, there she is. Don't look behind you. She's gonna kill you. It's a yandere! No, Jimmy! Shit! Frick! I was too late. Forget it. I'm letting my imagination <laughs> imagination get carried away. <laughs> imagination. Fuck, I said it right. It's a man. <laughs> I pull the blanket over my head and squeeze my eyes shut. That night, in my dreams, I saw Miyuki and we kiss. Well, thank you for rubbing it in. I thought you weren't to know me. Fucking alarm clock. Huh? Morning already? Nani? The start of a new day. Man, that dream I had last night was pretty weird. But I know today, I know today will be just a, just the same as always. Just another ordinary. Huh? What's this? A letter thumbles out of my shoe locker. I take it to my desk and open it carefully, half terrified to discover what awaits me inside. It can't be like anything bad because. According to anime, this is this the statistics show that if you get a letter in your shoe locker, it's mainly from a girl that admires you. Now the girl can be either weird or she can be super freaking hot, depending on the manga artist or the anime artist, the roots they're going with. Or if it's just a rental girlfriend trying to save your ass. Have I mentioned I watched Rent a Girlfriend. Meet me on the roof at lunch. Die. Huh? Yutaro, were you peeking? First, first I found out you're all friends with Sinusa, and then I found out that's the only. Then I found out that not only did you try to cheat on her with Miyuko, Muko, but on top of that, you also got this old fashioned love letter. You're a Nomi, aren't you? You are. You're a GD Nomi. Your G may forgive you, but as the captain of the Boys and Dreams Club, I, Akabono, Yutaro, Yutaro, never will. Keep your nose out of other people's letters. S sorry, but you know stuff like this will affect whether the BD Boys and Dreams Club loves to see another day. Ah, yes, the BD Club. Nothing like Doki Doki Literature Club or should I say DDLC. Don't worry, it doesn't make much sense to me either. Yutaru described this club as for boys who want to pursue, pursue their dreams. Which I say I'm all down for it. If my dream is to climb Mount Everest with all that I'm wearing, then I'm gonna be climbing in, the, in my underwear, I guess. Personally, I have no idea what that means. The club's actually been around for quite some time. But with a name like that, I can't imagine many people would go out of their way to join. Unsurprisingly, one spring rolled around. Yutaro was the only member left, and the BD club was on the verge of being disbanded. In the end, he convinced me to join. In name only, period to keep the club active. It doesn't matter what I do as long as I stay in the club. 
right? <laughs> My friend, you can't pursue a dream you're already living. The moment you achieve romantic fulfillment and become a normie, your membership is null and void. This is the oath sworn by the BD Boys. Yeah, BD Boys! With the ball! Ball! Blue! Ball! Sounds like a rap! A rap group. BD Boy! BD Boy! Maybe this banning it is for the best. I'm starting to think so too. Yuchiro may seem like a goofball, but it takes it. it it takes this 100% seriously. No sense in sabotaging, in sabotaging a relationship just to keep my club act alive, you know? Here. He said something on my desk. That's the game I saw yesterday. After Muko had left, Yutaro demanded to know every last detail of what happened. Obviously, I can't tell him about all that stuff Miyuki said, but I did tell him about the visual novel on the phone. I barely gave you anything to go on. How do you find it? Oh, Ryujiro knows a lot, uh, knows a lot about these games. Who's Ryujiro? My kid brother. You said the heroine looks dead on like Miyuko, so I showed him a pic of her. That was all it took. I look at the girl on the screen. Then I look at the girl sitting a few desks away. They're absolutely identical. Well, didn't this just break my brain? A perfect 2D recreation. If you told me the developers modeled this character on her own, I wouldn't doubt it for a second. Miyuki sits silently at her desk. She doesn't try to talk to anyone or play with her phone. She just stares into an empty space. Oh, she's spacing out. Oh, well, isn't that such an anime thing to do? While well, everyone else is chatting about their morning with their friends, the space around her is perfectly quiet, like a vacuum. Almost as if she is focusing her entire being on picking up the faintest radio waves from the furthest, farthest re reaches of space. Got it? Just then, she thrusts her hand into the air, like a boss! Jack the guy! <laughs> Transmission received. Development schedule confirmed. Roots in progress. She babbles to no one in particular, but our class is already used to her antics. No one finds her behavior surprising, except to the naked eye. You have to look very, 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 very very closely. At least, that's the sense I get. What's a weirdo? <laughs> Who wants to be friends with them? Oh, I'll come and hang with you after school. It's okay, just go. I promise I'll be there. Nothing against her, but I suggest you set your, your sights elsewhere. She's one giant headache waiting to happen. Huh? I never said I was interested in her like that. Then why are you asking about her? That's a good question actually. She tried to kiss me on the roof. Obviously I'm gonna be at least a little curious, you know. I forgot about the almost kiss. But me as a boy, won't I lean in first? But that's all it is. For your sake, I sure hope so. I've heard some pretty bad rumors, dude. Such as? They say she's a total... I'm not gonna say that word. Not that I buy it, obviously. I mean, she's impossible to talk to. 
much less anything else. After witnessing your gamer brain antics yesterday, I agree. She seems like she's off in her own little world, or at least totally oblivious to the people around her. Sounds a bit like Sayori. She can't carry a conversation to save her life. Hey, Yutaro. Is this game available on the App Store? Yes, it is, my fun friend. And it's free. That's a pretty good price. You can keep it. What? The phone? You serious? Well, dang, dude. How did you know it was my birthday? Oh, you didn't. You just felt sorry for me. No, I understand. It's it's a mutual feeling. I'll bring you a Game Boy tomorrow. There's no SIM card, so you can't make calls with it. But you can download games, no problem. According to him, this is a cult classic NCR game. NCR, what's that? Hell if I know, it's a visual novel terminology, I guess. But I'm getting some PD vibe from it. I see. Hmm. Oh, she's cute. Oh, hi, oh. Miyuki's voice rings out through the classroom. Just like that, all the girls start to gather around her in a giant circle. They start asking questions like whether she'd seen last night's season premiere or if she'd heard about the new store that just opened up in town. No matter the topic, Miyuki answers each one with grace, sophistication and a smile. Because who doesn't love a great smile? Everybody needs a great smile to advertise something that's oddly satisfying. That's why I don't go to sex shops. <laughs> because all, everybody is a fake smile. Just like that, she lights up the room, drawing attention from quite a few of the guys in our class. This happens every morning, and every time it makes me painfully aware of the distance between us. Sono Miki is the queen bee, and I'm... Nobody. Don't shell yourself short, dude. A lone flower blossom, blossoming in the vast desert of the campus. Man, she's just so beautiful. Yeah. Here in the classroom, she is the star of the show. She's also the star of my heart. I'm just agreeing what this protagonist is saying. But I know she's just playing the parts. As her old friend, I know what she's really like. Fussy and plain spoken. Dude, did you see that? Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. Sone just glanced over at us. Huh? I can't help it. I'm crazy about you. And if I want to pursue this dream, I gotta confess my love. It's destiny. Good luck, I'm rooting for you. Yay, go Akibento! Or whatever your name was. I, I honestly don't care, I was spacing out, sorry. Good luck, I'm rooting for you, man. And yet, even as I speak... Boop, boop. I can't help but glance at Muku out of the corner of my eye. Amidst the cheerful chatter, she sits perfectly still. See ver the very picture of loneliness. Not to be mean or anything, but yeah, that's a loner boner. During class. Using my textbook as cover, I slightly I stealthily take out Utero's brother's phone <coughs> and launch the game. Now loading, I got warped into the game. Bip bip. Her eyes lock onto mine. It's 
so sudden, and suddenly there's a spark. We lean in closer for a kiss. Just as we puck, pucker our lips together for the final touch of our love. Hello, everybody! Do you wanna come to my party? My battery is dying. What, what battery? This one, do you wanna shove it up your ass? Well, be my guest, take it. Take it! Needs to recharge. Wanna get zappy? No! Please, no. I I'm at school. We don't do that at school. Unless it's a site called Anti Haven. There's so many references in this video. But I think I'm gonna end this episode here. This game is really, it's so weird. It breaks my brain. It really hurts my brain. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see all you beautiful weebs in the next video. Bye-bye.